Yippee! We are in pace 10, which is, um, we only have three to go. This one, and then 31 and 32, and then you are done with Algebra 2. We're almost there. This one is um, going to introduce you to some brand new concepts called logarithms. And uh, sounds intimidating, doesn't it? <clears throat> so we will dive in here. I have on the board here that we're doing pages one through eight. And the reason I'm saying that is because page uh, one, two, three is a review. So if you read the uh, directions, the law of exponents, they give eight examples. And it's a review of what you covered in page 1124 and 1127. So if you need to, you can go back, watch some videos, look, pull your paces back out if you can, and look those concepts over if you need to. But hopefully you will not have any trouble on page three. And then when we get to page four and five, it's just graphing. And we're graphing where the exponent, um, excuse me, where it's like a y equals something raised to an exponent. And the exponent is a variable. So I'm looking here at the bottom of page five, you know, y equals four to an exponent. They give you some numbers to plug in for x. So those would be the exponents that you're gonna plug in. So like I'm looking at this first one, and if the exponent is negative one, then that means you're gonna take the base of four, raise it to the negative one power, which means you're doing the reciprocal, right? So it becomes one over four. So we have a fraction, one fourth. Anything to the zero power, do you remember, is the number one. So when you have four to the zero power, you have one for the y, and then we have an exponent of one half. And do you remember from the last piece, a fraction exponent like that means, uh, if it's one half, it means the square root. So in this case, the square root of four is two, good, so put that in. Obviously, the next one of one, you know, that's easy. <clears throat> so, and then the last one, three halves. Well, first of all, you do the, the half, okay? So you just kind of split it into the two parts. So you first take the denominator, four to the one half would be two, but then you raise that to the third power. So two times two times two. All right, and that's as much room as they give you to graph that. Now, they're not gonna be in a straight line. You are going to expect that they are all going to have curved graphs, like the ones pictured here on this page, okay? Uh, then when you turn to page six, same kind of a thing. Um, you have a base raised to an exponent, and then, I think they do mention you may use a calculator to, uh, to solve those. Sometimes it just makes it a little bit easier. Page seven, they introduce the idea of logarithms and they keep using this term logarithm, 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 logarithmic x equations. And then they give an explanation here at the bottom of page seven that I had to read three times. And I am a math teacher of 30 plus years and I had to read it three times to say, what are they saying? Because obviously they word it differently than I see it in you know other textbooks and that I'm used to saying it to my students. Um, and then the top of page eight, they give a definition with the domain of the function, etc. Okay. Let's get down to how to apply it. Okay? So I'm going to give you, I want you to read it. I want you to try to, you know, after I talk about it, go back and read the page, see if it makes sense. And then we're going to talk about how you apply it. And then that will prepare you to do page eight, which will then prepare you to do your first checkup. Wow, we're almost there already. A third of the way through this pace and we're just starting. <clears throat> so <clears throat> a logarithm is the exponent. So this is another one of those things that you just need to kind of memorize and chant and realize, okay, logarithm is not hard. The logarithm is just the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent. So say it with me. The logarithm is the exponent. All right, say it again. I'll illustrate it in a minute, but just start saying it so you can start hearing your voice saying the logarithm is the exponent. 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 
All right, let's illustrate that with this problem over here. You know that 2 to the 4th power is 16, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 would be 16. So the logarithmic way of writing this is we take, <clears throat> we write the word log, which means the logarithm of, and then we take the base, okay? And you put the base as like a little subscript on this word log. Log to the base 2, and then we say of 16. Log to the base 2 of 16 is what? What that means is what exponent, okay, because the logarithm is the exponent, what exponent do we need to raise this base of 2 to to get, wow, I used 2 three times in a row, to get 16. <laughs> what? Let me say that again. That was kind of cool. What exponent do we need to raise the base 2 to to get 16. Wow. All right, that was a tongue twister. And the answer is 4. So we would say this logarithm is 4. 2 raised to the fourth power is 16. All right, here I have 3, the base of 3 raised to the third power is 27. So if I was going to write this as a logarithmic equation, I would say log to the base 3. Now this 3 is this, the base right here, okay? And then we say to get 17, or so the log to the base 3 of 27 is equals, what is the exponent? Because the logarithm is the exponent, the exponent is 3, okay? That's really all there is to it. Let me do one more here because this one's a fraction and I'm making these up. These are not ones you have on your homework because they don't give you very many to practice on and I think you need the practice. Here we go. Here the base is one half. Okay. <clears throat> so we could say log to the base one half. It has to be greater than zero, but it can be a fraction of one eighth is 3. Okay? Now, could we write this another way? Think about it. 1 half to the third power, writing it like that, um, we could write that as whoop, 2 to the negative 1 power. And then multiply that times 3. So we're saying 2 to the negative third power equals 1 eighth, okay? Or 8 to the negative 1. So if I said what is the base here log to the base 2 to get 1 eighth, 8 to the negative 1, okay? That would be negative 3. I don't know that you have one like that in the homework. I just kind of thought of that while I was doing that one. Okay, let's come over here now. If they give it to you in log form and they say write it in exponential form, now you're going to this way. You're starting with this and you're writing it like this. So, <clears throat> two, well, first of all, we have to solve this. So we're saying, what is the exponent that I would have to raise 2 to to get 8? And the answer would be 2 to the third power, right? So the exponent would be 3. So if I wanted to write this in exponential form, I would write 2 to the third power equals 8. Here I'm saying 3 raised to what exponent would equal 9? And that would be to the second power. So this answer, the log to the base 3 of 9, is asking what do I need, what exponent? Because remember, the logarithm is the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent. So what exponent do I need to raise this base of 3 to? In order to get 9, and the answer is 2. What exponent do I need to raise 5 to? 
to get 125. So if I wrote it in exponential form, I would write 5 to what exponent would equal 125? And that would be 3. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So we would say 3 is the exponent for base 5 to get 125. So the logarithm to the base 5 of 125 is 3. The logarithm is the exponent. All right. It's very different, okay? If you've never done anything with logarithms and you're saying, what are we going to do with this? Well, they're going to have a lot of fun with it, the whole pace. So hold on. We'll try to hold your hand, help you through it. But uh, as of right now, I don't think this part's too bad. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? And well enough that you can do page uh, eight and uh, score and correct everything, and hopefully you'll do well on your checkup.